Salut! I'm Jennifer, your French teacher in the south of France. And now in this lesson, we're going to talk about the French verbs apporter and emporter, which kind of fall into the same category as the verbs amener and omne. So if you've missed my lesson on those other two verbs, you want to make sure you check it out. It's all about whether we're bringing or taking. So, are you bringing something somewhere? If you're bringing something, not someone, if you're bringing something somewhere, then you need to use the verb apporter. Apporter. Remember, if you're bringing someone, that's a different verb, the verb amener, which you need to check out in my other lesson. Well, if you're bringing something, we just said that that's the verb apporter. Now, if you're taking something, again, not a person, if you're taking something somewhere, then you need to use the verb emporter, emporter. Let's just make this really clear because the idea of bringing and taking can be quite confusing. So we're going to use the French verb apporter when we're bringing something, a thing, a thing, an object, something that we can pick up in our hands, hold in our arms and carry away. We're going to carry it away to a place and guess what we're going to do? We are going to leave it there. Now, emporter is, is totally different. That's why we have a different verb for it. Emporter, we're going to use this verb when we are taking something away and we're, we're taking it away, but we're not gonna leave it there. We're going to keep it with us. Think about it like this. Anytime you see something in France, a takeaway food, okay? Pizza, if it's takeaway pizza, it's called pizza à emporter because you're not going to take that pizza away and just leave it somewhere, right? You're going to take that pizza away. And you're going to keep it with you, emporter. Okay, so here's a good simple little example for you using the verb apporter. J'apporte un bon livre. J'apporte un bon livre. So remember, j'apporte un bon livre means I'm bringing a good book. So I'm bringing a good book from one place to another, and then I'm going to leave it there. J'apporte un bon livre. I could say, oh, I'm bringing you a good book. In which case I would say, je t'apporte un bon livre. How about this one? Apportez-moi un café. Apportez-moi un café. You see that verb apporter, apporter with the hyphen, moi? That's the command form. It's called l'impératif, the imperative. So if apporter means to bring, and I say apportez-moi un café, it just means bring me a coffee. Bring me a coffee and leave it there. Here's another example with apporter. Elle apporte toutes ses affaires. Elle apporte toutes ses affaires. Elle apporte toutes ses affaires. So that means to bring. She's bringing all of her belongings and she's leaving them. So I could also say, for example, bring me all of your belongings. Remember the bring me a coffee? Apportez-moi toutes tes affaires. Bring me all of your belongings and leave them there. Now we'll move on to some examples with the verb emporter. Remember, la pizza a emporter. This means to carry something away to another place. J'emporte ce livre avec moi. J'emporte ce livre avec moi. So, j'emporte ce livre avec moi just means I'm taking this book or I'm taking this book away with me or I'm carrying this book away with me and guess what? I'm keeping it. So it's different to something like I'm bringing you a book. Je t'apporte un livre. This time, j'emporte un livre avec moi et je le garde and I'm keeping it. Encore le verbe emporter. Emporte tes affaires. Emporte 
tes affaires. This again is the command form. It's the imperative. You notice there we're using the to form of the verb. And did you notice there's a letter missing? That's because emporter is an ER verb. And when you're giving commands with ER verbs in the to form, the S goes away. Emporte tes affaires. Donc, emporte tes affaires veut dire... Did you get that? Emporte tes affaires veut dire... I said emporte tes affaires means... Veut dire... Take your belongings. Or take your belongings away. Carry your belongings away and keep them. Don't leave them here. Take them away for good. This is the last example of this lesson. Emporter, nous emportons les meubles. Nous emportons les meubles. Et ça veut dire, et ça veut dire, and that means we're taking the furniture. We're taking the furniture away. We're taking the furniture away with us. We're carrying the furniture away and we're keeping it. So the big takeaways, we have the verbs apporter and emporter, to bring and to take. We're talking about bringing things and taking things. And when we're bringing things somewhere, it's with the idea that we're going to leave them. And when we're taking things some somewhere with us, it's with the idea that we're keeping them. If you have been watching this lesson within my French course for self-learners, make sure you download your study guide, take good notes, and use the extra materials that I've put in there for you so that you can practice and master the verbs apporter and emporter. And if you don't have my French course yet, but you like the way I teach and you would like to take lessons with me, well, then maybe you should check it out. Merci et à très bientôt.